So this is actually my second go. So let's hope this time goes a tiny bit more smoothly, but I have to be fast because it's getting dark very fast. Um, first of all, I just want to say welcome to this video. My name is Caroline. I am Danish, but I actually live in Scotland with my partner, Ben. We live in um, a tiny town called Linlithgow, which is basically perfectly in between Edinburgh and Glasgow. Um, and I have knitted, uh, I have been knitting since May. Um, this video format is going to be very similar to Fox's Knits, who I'll link down below. I saw her video and I just really liked the sort of a tiny bit shorter snippy format. So you're not going to be uh, seeing me knitting today. I'm going to keep it a bit, hopefully a bit more brief. I'm not very good at being brief. Um, so first off, I'm going to talk about the projects that I have finished and any relevant information, by the way, I'll just put down below so that you can easily find it uh, for yourself. So um, most of my knitting in the past month and a bit more has been taken up by this lovely sweater, um, which I'll do some cutaways for potentially, which is the Dolce sweater from the Nine Divine Knitwear. That trips me up every time. Um, this was a test knit, my first test knit, and I have to say that Kerry was amazing to test knit for. And this knit was difficult because um, there was a lot of techniques that I'd not done before, but it was very well explained um, and I really enjoyed it. And I think if you've done like a few sweaters in the round and you're wanting to move to slightly more complex patterns, this is like the perfect type of pattern to do. Um, and um, I love the puff sleeves, which I hope is coming across on video. Um, it's really, really, really soft. It's knitted in Lana Gatto uh, VIP Maxi in white, as well as um, Phil Kalana Telia in Snow White. So um, it's really fluffy and beautiful. I bought that from knit.co.uk or knitting is my rehab on Instagram. I'll link her shop down below. I love all her yarns and uh, she's really lovely. So just took up vast majority of my time, but I'm really happy with the final pro uh, product of it. Um, it took me about four weeks, which is quite a long time. Um, I think it's just the techniques and all of that. Um, and in between all of this, I also started a new job, which did decrease my knitting time a little bit. Speaking of starting a new job, um, my lovely old work colleagues that got me into knitting um, gave me a gift card to uh, Loop London Loves. Um, um, Loop is like my absolute, like my first yarn shop love. I bought many of my first projects from there. Um, and I decided to, to spend it on some really special and I've cast on for the first project for that. So, um, I am currently knitting a hipster hat from Petite Knit. Um, and you can see here it's, um, Loop kindly wound it up for me, which makes it a lot easier than than having to do it at home. Um, it's such a such a beautiful uh, mix of colours and I think uh, the hipster hat is actually, this is my second one. I finished one basically middle of November which I sent home uh, to my cousin um, and I just thought when I tried it on the fit was really great. Obviously it's it's ribbing and I just think it's going to be really comfy. Um, I usually always do a gauge swatch, but I've actually not done it for this, <laughs> which might be a potential risk. But I have quite a small head, so I'm staying optimistic that it won't be like too much of an issue. And um, I just couldn't wait to cast on for that. And the other project which I'm hoping to finish by Christmas is my second uh, Selma sleep seat. This is knitted in um, Drops Merino Extra Fine. So it's quite chunky actually, um, I, at least for me, it's not like chunky chunky, but it is like air and weight, I guess. Uh, runs 110 meters per 50 grams. Um, it's a lot more affordable than the uh, original yarn suggested. Um, I knitted a sleep suit once before, which I'll put up a picture of, which was in like a, a lilac color with a uh, silver glitter through it. And it was really, really beautiful, but um, this sleep suit wound up being about half the price and I really wanted to try more of drops yarns as well. Um, so far the biggest difference I'm truly noticing is that already there's so much stretch to it. So I've actually gone down a needle size, um, even though my gauge was not, I I just didn't, I didn't think it was that easy to hit the, the magical number in the pattern, but I thought there's so much stretch to it, I don't want to knit it and then it grows in what, like in the wash, especially because um, this is super wash treated and I know 
that if they wash in the washing machine, it will probably lose its shape. So I'm hoping this will be done um, by Christmas-ish time, maybe a bit after Christmas. Um, it's obviously quite an easy knit because it's got a stitch. Uh, the last time I knitted it, the longest was <laughs> sewing it all together because I'm not the biggest fan of um, finishing, but she might be able to tell I've already sort of started that process. It's, um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really lovely. I have some some beautiful Mother of Pearl buttons as well uh, to complement that. So that's what I'm currently working on. I have felt, if I'm honest, a teeny tiny bit lost after finishing the sweater, uh, just because I usually always have like a very big project on the go, like a sweater. Um, I'm definitely not a monogamous knitter as such, like I will have more than one project cast on, often because I like to have something that I can like knit without thinking, um, and then also have some like projects that are a bit more challenging. Um, but currently I am waiting to start another test knit that I hope I can show you more of um, next time. So that's what I'm currently working on, my work in progress. Um, I thought I'd show you some yarn acquisitions. Uh, there's quite a lot. <laughs> so currently I am on a <laughs> like more yarn buying. Um, knitting is my rehab. I blame for, for getting, like for really increasing my, my yarn stash in the past few months. But obviously we've spent a lot of time at home this year. And first up, I'm going to show you um, this is an early Christmas present from my granny who also loves knitting actually. And um, I saw what they, what Knitting for Olive is going to call the fan sweater in English or the uh, Breine sweater, which I just, I just loved. And I loved the sort of simplicity of the pattern and the fit. So I knew, I knew that had to go my, my knit list. Um, to be honest, I, I find um, it's not too often I'm too keen on all new releases as such. I often, like, my knit list is so long, I don't don't always, like, feel the need to add more, but fern sweater, that was just perfect. So for that, I have bought uh, these colours as an early Christmas present from my granny to me. Uh, thank you, granny. Um, this is in the colour um, Claret in Aureen Hall. Um And um, it's this, like, lovely uh, deep red. Um quite warm tone this is like I love red tones that's always my choice um like what I'm nat naturally drawn to when it comes to to yarn um so it will be my first time using knitting for olive um but everyone absolutely love loves it and I think with some of the ethical discussions around especially my hair which a lot of the Scandinavian pattern designers are using I'm really excited to try something that has I think quite you know knitting for olive does a lot for their sort of the ethical use of yarn. They have some beautiful colours and um, I also have to say that the delivery was really good to the UK. So yeah, I have enough for buying a sweater here. As I said, my colleagues gave me a really lovely um, gift card to uh, Loop London. And um, so I bought one, just one ball of, of this multicoloured yarn that I'm knitting the hat in. Um, but um, most of the gift card I actually used um, for yarn for sweater. So this was my choice of uh, combination. So this is a Madeleine Tot Tosh um, colour, which uh, is called Autumn Leaves, I think. So it's like, in real life, it's like a, like a pale pink base with lots of speckles in it. Um, which I think will knit up absolutely beautifully. Um, and then I bought my hair to go along with it. So this is uh, Gipar uh, Kitsita, which is um, is another one that I've seen uh, people saying, first of all, that they really like working with this yarn, um, but also that um, Gipar has a lot of ethical standards. So um, that's another reason, um, to be honest, it's to me, it looks like most my hairs, like I think they are quite similar, but I have to say Gepard does have a lovely shade range. I think this is the colour Mink, um, although it doesn't actually say, it says colour 481 here, but I think it's the colour Mink, which is um, like a, a cool tone pink. So yeah, these two are planting it together. So I have a sweater quantity of these. Um, I'm not sure what sweater yet. Um, my initial thoughts are potentially a Carl Johan sweater from knitting for olive but um this combo should fit lots of lots of really beautiful patterns so um i just have to see i think it will be a, a knitting for olive pattern um another thing that i bought which is just so gorgeous so um 
another, just like the fern sweater, another sweater I just knew I had to knit is um, sweater number 11 from my favourite things knitwear. So I have, um, it's called beige, it's like a very light cream colour, or is it called cream? Maybe. It's um, Maxi, uh, Lanagato Maxi VIP that I bought from uh, Knitting is My Rehab and um, I bought some my hair to go with it but I thought beige on beige was a bit boring and, and I saw someone who had hand dyed like a second strand of like hand dyed my hair with with the sweater number 11 and I just I absolutely loved how it looked um, and I thought you know that style of, of sweater as we're stuck at home I'll get loads of use out of so um, I was kind of seeking for like the perfect second thread for a while and um, I found this um, from um, like Sakami uh, on Etsy um, which I'm sure won't really be done justice because like any hand dyed um, yarn it never looks as good wound up like this to never do beautifully in like a you know like a skein but um, it's essentially like almost like this soft peach base with like a slight pink tinge to it and um it is the what's it called it's so the color name is turkish delight and it's baby cereal packer with uh, silk so it's going to be a tiny bit chunkier than my hair so i'm definitely going to gauge um you can almost see it here it's a lot thicker um so i'm definitely going to gauge um swatch for sweater number 11 because i reckon i'll have to rejig my needle sizes a little bit um but yeah, I just saw this and and thought this is just uh, too gorgeous to pass up. And um, so she's called Feed the Bobbin on Instagram. And to be honest, I just I found her suggestion on Etsy because I love scrolling Etsy for beautiful yarn. And um, and yeah, she has twenty percent off in December. So I saw this and bought it immediately. Um, but she has loads of beautiful colours and her delivery was really fast. So um, I can't recommend her um, more highly. And also, I love when they're so nice to put into like a ball of yarn for you, um, to wind up for you. So I bought, I actually bought um, four, four like skeins of it. So, um, which is fifty because they are fifty grams. It's fifty grams more than what the pattern calls for. But because it's slightly thicker and it has um, like like a slightly shorter. I thought that would put me on the safe side and and again I think I can easily knit off this and I've, I've been quite intrigued to try like baby cereal packet I have I can be a tiny bit sensitive to yarn I don't find my hair too bad but um but yeah I have waffled off for long enough but fair to say it's gorgeous and I would definitely recommend checking out and um I think in the new year <laughs> since I have plenty of like yeah I'm going to be buying a lot more hand dyed yarn um Something that isn't hand dyed, and I apologise for all the noise as I dig it out. So, um, my final acquisition that I'm going to show you, there are, um, I definitely have bought more yarn in the past about month and a half, um, but most of it was um, extra for this sweater, and then um, some just boring, boring bits that I will spare you, which you might see in finished objects later. But one really exciting thing is, as I said, I've, um, I've really been loving everything from knitting is my rehab and um and I just I knew I had to buy this combo because uh Telia Philcon Telia is obviously like quite a common my hair choice and latte is one of the ones that you just see everywhere. Usually this is knitted with marsipan in um Aveta or in Peruvian Highland wool but um well on its own and it's like very cool toned light brown um latte colored isn't too far off so it is quite cool um so to be honest i think i wanted to to sort of like know that i, I wouldn't i didn't want to buy basically a full my hair quantity of like two strands of my hair i think it adds up really fast and yeah i think i prefer slightly more defined look than my hair purely on its own at least that's what i tell myself um so alongside it, I actually bought Lana Gatto VIP. I can't remember what this colour is, if I'm perfectly honest. I'll have to put it down below, but um, it says 8435. I think it might be Nodmeg. And um, this combination together, I think will be really good. Latte is a 
slightly more cool toned but um i think it'll go beautifully together and i just absolutely love how uh, vip max it looks so i thought i'd try vip as well so i'm again i'm not really sure what this is going to become um i have lots of things on my list and i'm sure i'll find something when i bought it i originally bought it for the amount you need for sunday sweater my hair edition uh, my hair edition um because i think sunday sweater is a lovely but who knows um to be continued to be honest i have so many projects in the new year that um it'll be a while before i get through it so yeah i think it's perfect timing that i finish up because it is getting very very dark um so thank you so much for watching um feels really strange to film yourself doesn't it um, but I hope you found it really useful and if you like me absolutely love yarn and Scandinavian knitwear designers then I hope you stick around and uh, subscribe so yeah see you all later bye